Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. You've decided to change the infinite switch on your range. It's a pretty easy job. You're going to need a couple of tools, a Phillips screwdriver, and probably a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how easy it's done. Before we begin this repair, the first thing we need to do is disconnect the power to the appliance. If your range has a standard 40 amp cord, just disconnect it from the receptacle. If it's hardwired, you need to find the disconnect switch or shut the power off at the electrical panel. The next step in this repair will be open our oven door and locate four Phillips screws located underneath the control panel. Those will need to be removed and there'll be two on either side of the control panel that need to come out as well. screws in a safe place so we don't lose them. We'll support the control panel as we remove the last screw. Tilt out on the bottom a little bit, let it drop down, and that will expose the back of the infinite switch that we're going to replace. The wire harness should support a complete control assembly. We might as well remove the two screws for the infinite switch that you're going to replace. You can remove those now. Take our needle nose pliers, just remove each of the individual wires. Again, keeping in mind where they came from. Take our new switch. The top of your switch is marked top. So when that sits in its location, That'll be, the top will be this portion here. Now we'll hold our switch in position. Now it's a matter of reconnecting the individual wires. The color, colors of the wires on the switch that you're replacing may or may not be the same as this particular one. So again, take note of that before you disconnect them. One of the Phillips screws, one of them started. Take our second one. Now we can tighten these two screws. We can lift the control panel back into place and reinstall the screws. Now that we've replaced the infinite switch, we need to lift the whole control assembly back into place. Now keep in mind that we don't pinch any wires. We lift it up above the door lock latch. Tilt it back, put this bracket in underneath the main top. Press it back. One screw into the bottom bracket to hold it in place.
this point I would suggest putting the at least one screw on either side of the control panel to hold it in position. Let's put the remaining two screws in on the sides. And then the remainder of the screws under the bottom of the control panel. And our repair is complete. Well, that's just how easy it was to change the infinite switch on your range. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.